Identification. This is not for broadcast. Level 6. Unit 7. Lesson 9. English for Ethiopia. English for Ethiopia. This is English for Ethiopia, Grade 6, Unit 7, Lesson 9. Produced by Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology. I can speak to you. Everyone, sing everyone. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and how are you? We're learning, yes, we're learning. We're finding what we want to do from the north. do you have? I have four good friends. Their names are Jeleni, Melat, Kadir, and Samson. Students, you also ask Obang. Say, how many good friends do you have? I have four good friends. Students, how many good friends does Obang have? Students, Say, he has four good friends. Students, how many good friends do you have? What makes them good friends? Teacher, please encourage the students to participate. You have 50 seconds. Time is up. Now, teacher, please have two students stand up and tell to the class about their good friends. You have 50 seconds. Time is up. That is good, students. Thank you, teacher. Obang, who is your best friend? My best friend is Jalani. We go to the same school. We study together. We even eat together. I see her like my sister. What makes her your best friend? She is decent. She is disciplined and kind. She is also clever and helps me in my studies. Students? You also ask Obang, say, who is your best friend? My best friend is Jalani. Again, students, ask Obang, say, 
Who is your best friend? My best friend is Jalani. Students, who is Owang's best friend? Students, say his best friend is Jalani. Students, who is your best friend? What makes him or her your best friend? Teacher, please encourage the students to participate. You have 50 seconds. Time is up. Now, teacher, please have two students stand up and tell to the class about their good friends. You have 50 seconds. Time is up. That is very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, please have the students work in groups of four or five and let them talk about and what makes them to be their good friends. Please move around the class and encourage each student to participate. Do the activity for about two and a half minutes. You may begin. Thank you, teacher. That is very good, everyone. Now, let's sing the song. Hello, children. How are you? How are you? We are all in the school from Monday to Friday. Hello, children. How are you? How are you? Hello, everyone. How are you? We are glad to have you here 
here at school, here at school. Hello, everyone. How are you? How are you? Hello, everyone. Learn to read, learn to write. In and out, in and out. Both at school and at home. Hello, everyone. Have a good day. Have a good day. That is very good, everyone. Students, Owang's grandmother has passed away recently. Now they are talking about that at home. Listen. Okay. That's nice. Bad news. I have just lost my grandmother. Sorry, Obank. Your grandmother? On which side? My mother's side. I am sorry to hear that. I am lucky that all my grandparents are still alive. Lucky you. I pray that my parents live as long as my grandparents have. When I was a little child, I used to think my grandmother was my mother. Oh, funny you. Why? We were such a big family, but she loved me in a special way. Do you think she loved you more than your own mother? Yes. It was not until I was in grade four that I found out that I did not have a mother. Oh dear! So does that mean that the tall, light brown lady is your stepmother? Yes, it is true. But but what? At times, I wish she was my real mother. The most important thing is that she loves you. That makes her your mother. I am happy she treats me like I was her biological daughter. Good for you, my friend. Well, I think it is high time we went home. It's getting late. I think. Students, have you listened to the conversation carefully? It is a bit long, isn't it, students? Don't worry, you will listen to it again. Now, listen to the conversation for the second time. Bad news! I have just lost my grandmother. Sorry, Obank. Your grandmother? On which side? My mother sighed. I am sorry to hear that. I am lucky that all my grandparents are still alive. Lucky you. I pray that my parents live as long as my grandparents have. When I was a little child, I used to think my grandmother was my mother. Oh, funny you. Why? We were such a big family, but she loved me in a special way. Do you think she loved you more than your own mother? Yes. It was not until I was in grade four that I found out that I did not have a mother. Oh dear! So does that mean that the tall, light brown lady is your stepmother? Yes, it is true. But but what? At times, I wish she was my real mother. The most important thing is that she loves you. That makes her your mother. I am happy she treats me like I was her biological daughter. Good for you, my friend. Well, I think it is high time we went home. It's getting late. Students, whose grandmother has passed away? Students, say Owang's grandmother has passed away. That is great, students. Now, students, whose grandparents are still alive? Students. Say, Jalani's grandparents are still alive. Students, who is the tall, light brown lady? Students, say, the tall, light brown lady is Jalani's stepmother. Students, is Jalani's grandmother cruel or kind? Students, say, Jalani's grandmother is kind. Students, is Jalani's stepmother cruel or kind? Students, say, Jalani's stepmother is kind. That is very good, students. Thank you, teacher.
teacher. For your final activity, please have the students be in pairs and let one of them pretend to be Bekele and the other Wally. Next, encourage them to rehearse the dialogue, which is on page 120 and 121 of their textbook. After that, call a pair of students to come to the front at a time and make them act out the dialogue. Do the activity for about five minutes. Bye for now. You've been listening to English for Ethiopia, Grade 6, Unit 7, Lesson 9. Produced by Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology.